What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another player pack review. It's Monday. We've got two new packs. We've got the Fans Choice Young Stars, which I've already covered, and now we've got the Fans Choice Asia players that we've now going to cover. That we've now that we're now going to cover. So this is kind of a I will say this is a more of a mixed bag, right? I would say, right? So Son Matoma, we've also got a couple of beastly players in here as well. Um, you've got Tarimi, who's not bad. You've got Furuhashi, who's not bad either. You've got a goalkeeper who, yeah, I wouldn't recommend him. Um, but you've got a couple of decent players like Tommy Yasu is probably the pick of them. And I'm going to show you a video on Tommy Yasu as to why you've been training players wrong. If you've been using a lot of the old information and if you haven't really kind of upgraded how you build players up, right? I will show you a separate video on that. So you won't have been working on a while, but Tommy Yasu is an excellent example of how to not make mistakes, okay? So with this with this pack, right, I would say that if you were to clear this agent compared to the, the young stars, I would say that this pack is slightly is slightly worse, right? Um, I would say that these four boys here, and uh, I mean, I would probably put Chan in there as well. These five here are pretty decent, okay? Furuhashi, I would throw in depending on your play style and how you use him. He's not as easy to use as some of the other players in here. Um, I would potentially throw him in as a sixth option as well. And you've got huge levels with these two boys as well if you wanted to pump in a lot of trainer points into him, okay? Um, if you're looking to build a project or something like that. But for the rest of it, I think the young stars are better, right? Now, in saying that... I do think that you've got two of the best players in both packs in this pack, which is Tommy Yasu and Son. I've been down on Son for quite a while, but I, I definitely think that this card is an amazing card, lads. Yes, he has standard form, but he's got track back if you want to do that. You've got double touch if you want to play him as a winger or play him as a kind of a dribble-centric player. He doesn't have excellent stats in uh, dribbling and passing, but you don't really need that if you're playing him as a center forward, which is where I recommend to play him. Um, he's down as a prolific winger. If you want to play him and start him as a left wing or right wing, you can play him across that middle section there in the SS or C4 or a CF. Um, so there's a lot of options with him. He's got first time shot, acrobatic finishing, long range uh, curler and long range shooting, chop turn, double touch, everything you could possibly want in a player that is going to be leading the line for you. And I definitely think that Sun is worth the punt. If you've played with him before and he hasn't really done it for you, I think that they've boosted him up a little bit that he's actually more uh, usable now, right? So we will get into that. We will probably spin for him as well, but let's see what happens, right? Um, he's probably the pick of it. You can see there a max out version of him here on eFootball DB. 88 offensive awareness, 94 acceleration, 88 stamina, 92 speed. A little bit overkill. I will do a training guide on him if you guys want to see that. A little bit overkill with the speed and the stamina, especially if you're playing him up front. You genuinely do not need to add anything to his speed if you're playing him up front, right? 84 speed with 80 stamina as his base is more than enough. If you want to pop in too, yeah, sure, do that, right? You can definitely do that. Um, but I would I would try and get the dribbling up to 88. And then if you are struggling to score, you could pop four more into that to get 80, 87 finishing. I think 85 is more than enough. And then you can pop the rest into dexterity to have 90 offensive awareness with 80 balance and 96 acceleration. 88 dribbling, 86 speed, insane. 86 curl as well with 85 finishing. What a centre forward you're going to have there. Or even what a left winger that can cut in and score a lot of shots uh, with his right foot. Or else cut in from the right side and cross it, you know, low across the box um, to have a really good option there as well. So I definitely think that Sun is a fantastic option. Sorry, lads, my throat is a little bit sore today. <clears throat> Still not over this sickness, man. I don't know what's going on. And Tommy Yasu, probably the pick of the pack, lads. His legend card, the big time card that Tommy Yasu had was an insane card. This guy tracks up quite well. You've got all the player skills there, head and interception, area disparity, and slide and tackle. So that does let him down a bit because obviously his other card, the Tommy Yasu, um, big time has got blocker, um, which is going to make a big difference. And he's got man marking. This version of him doesn't have man marking or blocking. So you're going to have to additionally add those on as skills, which is a little bit of a concern. Um, but, you know, statistically wise, he is a monster, right? Even if you go over to a right back or a left back version of him, he can play both. Really, I, I often play him uh, left back if I'm stuck. Uh, he goes, you know, insanely high with the stats, you know, defense, tight possession, dribbling, ball control, speed, acceleration, and that all important stamina. Defensively, if you're looking to create a monster, you can do just that as well um, by taking down the dribbling and pumping a few more onto the defense. You're going to have all in the 90s for a right back is insane, especially as a defensive fullback. So this version of him is obviously way better uh, with 35 levels. This guy's got 33, but he goes fairly decent. And we'll get into a really good training guide on Tommy Yasu quite soon as well. We do have a 
Matoma. I remember lads, one of my favorite players to ever play with in eFootball 22 was Matoma, and he continues to be an absolute demon. There's been a lot of versions of him. I got the Japanese version of him, which I thought was insane. There was also this version of him that they have here. And then the Showtime. The Showtime was really good um, with the momentum dribbling. I missed out on him. But we did have this version of him. And this one was definitely, I think, a little bit better uh, on the ball. Um, you know, but acceleration-wise, he was way down. So this player is actually a lot faster than him, which was one of the issues with the Matoma card. He just didn't have that rocket pace in any other version of him. Uh, even here with his player of the week, um, you can have there. He only had 85 acceleration. So this guy goes into the 90s with the acceleration, the balance, the ball control, the dribbling. You know what you're getting with him. I think the biggest thing with this pack, lads, is that there are a couple of more misses than hits, right? Even, even with these guys, right? If you take a look at this guy here, even though he's got huge levels to go um, when you train him up, when you pump in 65 levels into him and you go 18, 18, and 13 with the dribbling dexterity and lower body strength, you are going to get speed, acceleration, and balance on the 90s, but everything else in the card is kind of, you know, it's not going to be it's not going to do it for you. You know, this guy's a super sub, so that does make a difference. Um, the same with this guy is a left back. Defensively, he's just not going to be solid enough. He's a full back finisher. Everything else is good on the card, but you just have to pump in a lot of progression points to get to that level 52. So that's a bit of a worry. This goalkeeper is a complete write-off, even though he's got good player skills. He doesn't have the stats that back it up. And then we also have this center forward, uh, Uda or Yuda. This guy is a goal poacher, but again, he has that same difficulty with the balance and, of course, the offensive awareness, finishing and acceleration and speed are just average. So I do think that there is more bang for your buck in the young stars, um, but then you do have some good options in here as well as I talked about, right? So Furuhashi, a very good player if you want to have somebody, especially if you're a Celtic fan. He's a really good player, man. He goes to over 90 in the overall rating. He's got 87 finishing, 87 offensive awareness, 94 acceleration, and 93 balance. I know a lot of people play him as their sole center forward, like Romario, and he just bangs goal in after goal in. Uh, we've also got Chan, who plays for Wolves, the fan choice from Wolves. This guy is a bit of a unit, lads. He's a dummy runner, which is an unusual play style. You don't see a lot of people using that, but he's got 97 acceleration, 88 balance, and 80 finishing when you train him up this way with 87 seven dribbling and 88 offensive awareness which is huge very kind of yeah a very kind of unique card i mean especially if you take a look at his player skills right you've got chop turn you've got rising shot you've got track back and super sub with fighting spirit so it's a very unusual card he kind of does it all you can play him in a lot of different ways especially as a dummy runner uh you can play him left right or through the middle so yeah, there is more bang for your buck in the fans' choice to young players, but I do think that there are some good options in this one as well. And then last but not least, we have Tarimi here as well. This guy maxes out at a 91, 92. A deep line forward. He's a slow-based target man. Like that's what you're going to be using with him. He does have one touch pass, first time shot, but he is going to be a slow uh, kind of option if you're used to playing with faster versions of players, right? So yeah, I do think that the Asia pack is quite decent. I don't think it's as good as the fans' choice, but then, you know, Tommy Asud, Son, Matoma, and I would probably put um, Chan in there as well. We did miss one player, which was this guy, uh, Lee Kang-in. This guy is a very good attacking midfielder, but he's just averaging a lot of stats comparing him to other players. Now, what I do like about this guy is that he has double touch, one touch pass, true passing and low lofted pass. So in hindsight, lads, this guy is actually a bit of a beast. I've kind of glossed over him. Bit of a beast. 76 speed and stamina. Yeah, that's enough. 76 uh, offensive awareness and finishing is 74. That's not bad either. So I wouldn't be too concerned about that. Dribbling, tight possession, low pass. Lofted pass, acceleration, and kick of power, and curl all very high. And those player skills are to die for if you are looking for a solid attack of midfielder to build around. So yeah, a very good pack, Les. There's probably, um, there's probably better in the young stars, but definitely the Asia pack is quite good as well. So let me know what you think. Do you prefer the Asia stars or the young stars? And I will be back in a bit. Don't forget to subscribe. We're over 30,000, boys. Let's get it. We're going to have a big giveaway this week. Talk to you in a bit.